Picking values from long-ordered lists, such as when setting a date or time, is a common task on smartphones. In this example, the user is setting a time for an event by dragging and spinning a picker. Upon tapping, the picker slides in but pushes other relevant content off-screen. This is because the picker requires significant screen space to capture dragging and spinning and for displaying the values. While the display of the values can be shrunk, the gesture space for spinning and dragging cannot. In our paper, we present a solution that uses force input to decouple and minimize display space and gesture space for the picker and similar widgets. We investigated three rate-based force techniques that require no more gesture space than the size of the thumb. Here is the previous scenario, now using a minimized in-place picker that is controlled by our best technique, thumb roll. For example, when pressing on the hours, the according picker appears in line. Rolling the thumb to the right and pressing increases the hours. The harder the user presses, the faster values change. Rolling the thumb to the left and pressing decreases the hours. Here is another example, setting a countdown timer right from the user's home screen. When the user presses on the clock app icon, a minutes picker fades in. Using thumb roll he sets a value, say 35 minutes, and upon lifting the thumb, the timer starts immediately. Here we show our thumb roll technique that users tested in three experiments. Note how rolling the thumb changes the navigation direction of values. Depending on how much force the user applies, values are scrolled at different speeds. Indicating the direction is necessary, since rate-based control, by default, only allows for navigating in one direction. For comparison, users also tested dragging and spinning a picker that behaves like a system picker. Users then also tested our thumb roll technique to control the minimized picker, which would not work with dragging and spinning. Our untrained users correctly selected values at 99% accuracy, but were slower than with the system picker. However, users who trained thumb roll for an hour and 10 minutes became significantly faster with the minimized picker compared to the system picker. With thumb roll, users needed only 6% of the gesture space that they required for dragging and spinning, and the minimized picker takes up only 20% of the system picker height. To summarize, our solution is more compact and users were faster and still as accurate as with the system picker.